wire, tools, and how to use them, this is week one of basic training. It's who I am, a little bit, so how I fare, and some mystery, putting it all together, doing what I do. Hi, I'm Tamara Berg, and this is the first week of basic training. We are going to whip you into shape with some basic skills over the next month to make jewelry. And we are going to start with wire today, because wire is one of the most basic components in making many kinds of jewelry. We're going to start with the different types of wire and different gauges. Wire comes in different thicknesses and is used in a scale called the American Wire Gauge, or AWG. And that rates wire from 0 to 30. So the easiest way to remember it is, the larger the number, the smaller the wire. So for example, this wire here is 24 gauge, pretty small, big number, pretty small. This wire here is actually 8 gauge wire, big fat wire. So what we're going to use is this wire gauge. And what's important to know about this wire gauge is that the holes do not correspond to the size of the wire. The important thing about this wire gauge is the slots on the side, which correspond to the numbers here. So here I've got a piece of wire. I'm not exactly sure what gauge it is. And the way I work it is you can either work from the bottom up or the top down. You just slide it through the slots until it finally fits through and this one fits through the 18 gauge slot. So this is 18 gauge sterling silver wire. Next we're going to talk about copper wire. It comes in lots of different gauges and is readily available in hardware stores. The larger gauges come in lengths that are usually sold by the foot and the smaller gauges are usually sold in spools. Next we have silver wire. First one is silver plated wire and it is made with a base metal core with sterling silver laid over the top. Next we're going to talk about sterling silver wire. Sterling silver is classed as 925 out of 1000 parts fine silver, the other 75 parts of the wire are other metals that add to the durability of the wire and they are things like nickel or copper. There is also wire that is fine silver and that is 999 out of a thousand parts silver and that wire is considered to be pure silver. Next we have 14 karat gold filled wire also called sometimes 14 slash 20 wire and that means it is 1 20th 14 karat gold. Now this wire is made with a brass core and then through heat and pressure a 14 karat gold layer is put over the top. Gold filled wire is great to work with because the gold is embedded into that brass and it won't flake if you harden it or if you heat it. Next we have 14 karat gold wire. Beautiful, durable, and very expensive. Now out of these wires, the 14 karat gold, gold filled, and sterling, you will be looking for in jewelry stores, um, or very fine crafting stores. Silver plated wire you can usually find in bead stores or craft stores. Copper wire you can find any old place. Now sterling silver and gold wire come in different hardnesses. They come in dead soft, half hard, and full hard. And there are different utilities for each type of wire. The dead soft wire is very soft, very malleable, very easy to work with, but sometimes doesn't hold its shape. Full hard wire is very hard, very sturdy, can be a little bit difficult to work with, so I find that half hardened wire is the best compromise. Now it is possible to take dead soft wire and actually work harden it, and the way you can do that is with a rubber or a rawhide mallet and just pound the wire, not to the point where you're going to really be changing the shape of the wire, but it sort of excites the molecules inside the wire and it makes it a little bit stronger. Also, you can take soft wire and harden it just by taking the pieces in your hand and just sort of working them back and forth. And again, that just hardens the wire by moving the molecules around. It is also possible to take wire and put it in a tumbler like a rock tumbler with what is called steel shot. It's little bits of steel and some aqueous solution. Run that through a tumbler and those little bits of shot act like little tiny hammers on the wire and that will harden the wire as well. 
Another way to harden your wire is by using a steel hammer and a steel plate which will add texture as well as strength to your wire. So if you're making a little earring wire like this one, you can see it's a little bit malleable, it kind of moves around. So you can take your steel hammer and just whack away on that wire. It will flatten the wire and also make it a little bit stronger. give it a good smashing. And when you're finished, your earring wire will look like this. And you'll see it's a little stronger, it's more sturdy, and it's really gonna stay put. And then to finish it, all you have to do is drop on your little drop, and you've got a finished piece. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple S-class out of wire. We're gonna be starting with that 18 gauge piece of wire we talked about in the beginning, and this one's a little bit big. I want it to be about an inch and a half, so I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this wire. So we've got about an inch and a half here. Now I'm just going to hammer both ends to give them a little bit of strength. And move to the other side. Give it a good smack. So now we have a piece of wire that's got flattened ends on each side. Now I'm just gonna take some round nose pliers and make a really tight turn at each end of that piece of wire. And do them in opposite directions. Okay, so there that is. Next we're gonna make a big S shape. And in this case we want the curve that we just made on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is take that little circle and bring it toward the center of the wire. Again with my round nose pliers. So. And we'll get to do another little bit of shaping in the end. So we're gonna do the same with this side. And there we have our S clasp. You can also hammer it more on each of the big loops if you wanna add a little bit more texture and strength. Now this is a clasp that I have made. They're very common in actually high carat gold. These are 24 karat gold S clasps. And the reason why they make clasps in this shape in 24 karat gold is because it's a very soft metal, so mechanical clasps don't really work in high karat gold. And then I've also made another one here with just bending some wire and doing some nice hammering. And we've got another size of the S clasp. Isn't it amazing all the things that you can make with just a piece of wire and some of it from your hardware store? Okay, recruits, I've got some drills for you. You need to watch Party on Your Finger where we talk about wire wrapping. It's a great one to show you a couple of other things to do with wire. And the next time I see you, I expect you to be ready for a surprise inspection, double time. Get out there and make something beautiful. See you next time. To get step-by-step -step instructions, download this week's design guide.